And when the cops came through, me and Dre stood next to a burnt down house. But if a lucky chunk, you'd have dead, but I chopped them too. Slam Shady, hotter than a set of twin babies. All right, so here we're moving on to deadlifts, and I finished my three warm-up sets, so now we're doing 225 um, for five, which was the high end of my warm-ups. And the one thing I've really wanted to focus on lately was my form. Um, after my week-long hiatus due to my wisdom teeth, I wanted to really focus in on my proper form because every now and then I'll get a serious back injury, lower back injury, and um, suffer while I'm at work or school doing whatever for a couple of days and it really sucks. So here I'm really focusing on um, having the bar over my midfoot and I saw a really cool video on Alan Thrall's channel where he said uh, bar must be over midfoot because if it's too far out in front and you go to pull up you're not going to have that leverage and you're going to put all your lower back basically into it and that makes sense So I've really been focusing on making sure the bar is over my midfoot shoulders slightly out in front um, and then of course abs tight sh upper back tight shoulders back and retracted um, and then really firing the glutes and hams so my second set was uh, three reps at 243 and here we're moving on to my third set at 277 for three reps I decided to put the belt on um, one set earlier than my AMRAP just because I wanted to see and get a full AMRAP um, for my top set, if that made any sense. But right here, I'm just going over in my head, you know, what do I have to do um, mentally to pull this bar off the ground safely. And um, struggling with 277. I think that look on my face is, whoa boy, I know that AMRAP is going to be hard as fuck. So, AMRAP, um, the program called for as many reps as possible at 312 pounds, but I just rounded up to 315, so I have 345s, and I knew on the last set I wasn't really feeling too, too good, so I know this would be a struggle, and as you can see, I only got how many, how many, how many reps? Two. And uh, it's okay. Do better next week. It happens. And before I headed off to Planet Fitness for my accessory work, I decided to do some front squats. Now, I haven't done these in fucking hey, quite a few months, but I just threw 135 on the bar and uh, played with that to get warmed up. And then did about three sets of eight. And... Um, as you know, front squats are more quad dominant versus your glutes. So uh, help you get that deadlift off the ground or off the floor. It doesn't help so much at lockout, but getting off the ground is where I struggle. So I felt this was appropriate. Um, when I'm front squatting, the only thing I'm thinking about is pushing my knees out. Um, vice versa, of letting them cave in and uh, keeping my elbows up straight because if you ever do front squats you have a tendency of letting your elbows drop and the therefore the bar would come forward and throw your center of gravity off so uh enjoy if you smoke like i smoke then you high like every day and if your hands is a bus the 213 will wake you late Alright, so tonight's Friday, it's my bench night. Let's see how many I can get for my arm rep. Hopefully it's more than two or three like last week.
All right, so as you guys saw there, I failed, which fucking sucks, but uh, I moved on to underhand. So I moved on to underhand bench press, which puts a lot of emphasis on the triceps, which we all know I could use a lot of work in. But I started off with some lower weight just because it felt really funky, but I did three sets underhand and then three sets of regular closed grip bench press. Um, I want to start incorporating this just to help the bench press even more.